like that. So. Yeah. Tell me about the target audience. 25 to 35 year old market is the biggest market. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we went for it. That's why we went for it, because we know that like professionals on the go, going through the train station, working lunches, they thought, get something they can just pick up, have a drink, and that's it, that's all they need. Yeah. Well, um, Zoe and Kirsty, joint team leaders. Um, you three people, what do you think of your joint team leaders and how, how they got on? They were good, but I'd say Kirsty was exceptionally good. Well, I didn't really work with Kirsty as much as Zoe, but I'd say both of them together really communicated well. And Jordan? Both uh, were just a pleasure to work with. One, either one of you? Walk me through it, really, exactly where you did. You me to go first? Easy. Yeah. OK, we ended up going with the teen market, so we felt it was a very underutilized The teen market? Yeah. We wanted to bring water, we wanted to make it more fun, because there's nothing out there at the moment that is a water sh for teenagers. Go on, go on to your next bit, then. We did a brainstorming session in, in the car on the way to the market research, and then we came up with drip, and we quite liked to add on the drop in the end, so it kind of just came about... That was you two kind of came up with that, yeah. We were playing with the fact that drip drop kind of lends itself to a musical idea in itself, because drip drop's quite onomatopoeic and quite a nice sound. Who did the singing? That was me. Right, OK. Good. Um, and I noticed that um, on your label here, you've got a strap line, Drip Drop, which is a very good name, actually, uh, and Never Stops, which is also very, very good. And uh, it's something, of course, this team didn't, didn't decide to do um, in their one. Who was directing the camera? That was you me. Was, right, me. OK. Yep. Um, well, look, that's given me a good insight as to how you got there. Um, visiting ex-candidates. Um, I'm going to ask you to uh, leave now because I'm going to talk to the two teams in more detail. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Ladies, um, big gamble was the target market that you yeah. went for. Yeah. You know, the first question that came to my mind was, with all of those professionals in the, in the audience, why haven't they done that? What's already out there is numerous, countless bottles of simple water. We wanted to go with something bold, something fresh, and something that targets a market that hasn't already been targeted. That was the thinking behind it. I can see where your head was, but um, they don't see it as a big market. Then there was the advert. Um, yeah. And um, you said you uh, kind of drafted that advert yeah, on paper? Yeah, we knew we wanted um, the two boys looking at each other, looking at the bottle, they drop the bottle, there's only one left. You know, they were both really thirsty. Girl comes in and steals it at the last minute. Do you think that was a good message there? It was, it, to me, with all due respect, it looked like a bit of a mugging on a council estate. What, the, the nice girl? Hmm. Yeah. Gentlemen, as far as the management of the uh, team is concerned, um, do you feel that there was good shared leadership amongst this? I think it was spread pretty yeah, evenly. Think, yeah, pretty evenly. You know, I sort of created, you know, I'm, well, I think I am quite creative, so I sort of created the whole brand and then uh, and the, the advert and then Arjun's like good at filming and that type of thing and like, you know, getting the, the design right. So, you know, we play to our strengths. So and he, work sourced, well together. he sourced the ideas and I brought them to life. That's, we sort of yeah. work well together. Mm. He sourced the ideas and you brought them to life, yeah? So, are you falling into the category of my logistics man again? No, I'm not the logistics man at all. I think you understood yesterday from the pitch I made to you, what well, we both made, that we do have other facets to our skills. I mean, I'd have loved to have taken it on myself and done the whole shebang and sort of, you know, really driven my my ideas through, but, you know, you have to work together, and I felt we did do work well together. I was almost convinced that you'd actually thought about the total business model, and then what disappointed me when, is when I heard you were giving retailers 150% margin. I can tell you that they wish they could earn 150% margin. They don't, OK? And the reason is 
the big void is to pay for a television advertising campaign. And TV adverts are not cheap. They might be cheap to make, but they're not cheap to broadcast. What are the margins that they usually work on, just out of interest? 25 to 30 per cent. Really? Because it's, it's very high volume stuff. How did you think the pitch went? The actual sort of content was excellent, I felt. The fact that we read it off a page wasn't so good. And, I, you know, we literally just finished it before we walked on. It was a bit stumbly. Yeah. Although we were quite good on your Q&A. <laughs> the bottle of water was very simple, very defined. Quite clearly, I understood the concept. The marketing um, idea behind it with the fellow didn't come off that well. The pitch wasn't that great. But the professionals were very, very, very impressed. Particularly in the quick manner in which you came back and answered them with their questions. Ladies, your business model was flawed in the target market that you chose. On balance, ladies, I'm sorry to say that your team is lost. And it's uh, a tough loss because I can't stop going on uh, of, of how impressed I've been with both of you throughout the whole of the, of the contest. I know you're going to be successful. I want you to go on and do what you're good at doing. And take, take some uh, tips from me. You want to be a little bit more upfront and not so much a busy bee behind the scenes. And you've got it all. You've got everything that you need, right? You just need to get that character right. Girls, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you so much for the opportunity. OK. Thank you. Off you go. Well done, boys. You really deserved it. Yeah. Gentlemen, you've won this task. I now need to decide who's going to benefit from the £25,000 that has been put aside to invest in your future. It's disappointing, you know, I got so close. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, I've learnt so much from this experience, you know. Um, I'm leaving this with my head held high, you know got to the final, you know. It's just it's just amazing to think how far I've come. I came here to prove my business mind, my business acumen, intuition and skills, and that's what I did. I may have fallen slightly short of the last hurdle here, but that doesn't mean that it's the end for me. I'm going to keep on working and I'm going to be a success in business. The thing that, that, that impressed me last night, quietly and silently, is I wasn't looking at them, I was looking at the audience. And the reaction to some of the questions and answers coming back from the boys, um, you know, they were impressed. Well, it's interesting. Dynamic you know, we, duo. Arjun, we've <laughs> said, Lord Sugar has said, is, is, a, is calculator man, but he turned into creative man yep. in this process. A lazy, a, a lazy Tim, not anymore. A real tough one, but we'll call him in 
shortly and I'll um, have to decide. Tough choice. Very difficult.